the explosive director Michael Bay returns with his newest movie, Ambulance. Starring Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Aza Gonzalez, we follow Will Sharp, who takes up a job with his brother Danny to steal $32 million from an LA bank in order to pay for his wife's life-saving operation. But when things go wrong, the brothers hijack an ambulance carrying a wounded cop and an EMT, and they're caught on a high-speed chase all over LA. Yes, I want this. I gotta give credit where credit is due. I am never bored with a Michael Bay movie. And I also have to admit that Ambulance might be one of his better movies in a while. Firstly, the acting is pretty darn good, especially from our leads. Yahya Abdul-Mateen plays as Will Sharp, and he does a great job of showing how desperate Will is as a character. So desperate that he completely ignores his senses and works with his criminal brother. It makes sense though, because his wife is dying, and if, when a person is going through this mental spiral like Will, all rational thoughts just go out the window, and Mateen portrayed that perfectly. Then we have Jake Gyllenhaal as Danny Sharp, and Danny in this movie is cray cray. He was so fun to watch, because Danny would switch back and forth from being poised and confident to just ugh, panicky and hot tempered. And this kept me on edge, but in a good way, because I never knew what he was going to do or what he was capable of. Like, he would be cool one second, you know, like, hey, I'm Jake Gyllenhaal, what's up, ladies? But then the next second, you'd be like, oh my god, what's happening? I'm losing my mind! It was quite entertaining. We also have Aza Gonzalez, who plays as the EMT Cam, and she's a brick wall in this movie, but it also works. Cam's an EMT, so she saw some pretty messed up things in her life, and at a certain point, she just became numb to it. But as she's held hostage, we see her humanity start to come back to her, and the way Gonzalez performs that character arc, it, it actually made me tear up. I didn't fully cry, but it was pretty close. I think Gonzalez gave the best performance in this movie. Then we have the action, and my god, the action is non-stop. Because you have like 15 minutes of setup, and then boom, an hour and 45 minutes is just one long action sequence. Car chases, the crashing, shooting, explosions, blood, gore, the movie throws everything in the kitchen sink at you, and I was just losing my mind. To give you an idea of the craziness that's in this movie, they're in an ambulance, right? You know, cops are chasing them, helicopters are flying over, like, it's going down. The wounded cop that's in the ambulance with him, he starts bleeding a lot. And Cam is like, dang, we gotta do surgery. And I was like, what? And surgery in a car chase is intense enough for a movie. But what makes it even crazier is that they actually show you the surgery. And they don't just slightly hover over their hands so you can see some blood. No, they show you cutting the cop open, pulling out intestines and, and just spreading open his stomach. And then at one point the cop wakes up with their hands inside him. And I was just like, oh my God. Like this, this movie is wild. Like it, it's not boring. It's definitely not boring. If you want some heart pumping scenes, the movie will give it to you. Jesus. One thing that I really liked about this movie though was how it got into the psychology of a high speed car chase. One of the antagonists in this movie is this NCIS guy that knows how to capture criminals and he would talk about the different tactics that cops should do in order to successfully end a car chase. Like having a helicopter dive bomb the ambulance while two cars, two cop cars will drive up on the side just to make them feel like they're surrounded, things like that. It's always cool to see a movie put in that extra effort to get me fully invested in the world that I'm watching, and I felt like I was learning something while having a good time. So next time I'm in a high-speed car chase, I'll do what these cops do, minus crashing into stuff. Now, I have no idea if the tactics in this movie are what police actually do, but it was still cool to see. So someone gave Michael Bay a drone camera, which he used the heck out of during the chase scenes. And on top of that, he used like a bajillion jump cuts. So the result of that type of filming and editing was that I almost died. Jump cuts would just flash on the screen, just back to back to back. It started giving me a headache and all the drone shots was actually giving me motion sickness. I thought it was the popcorn I was eating, but nope, the movie was literally making me sick. At one point during the movie, I started praying. I was like, please, Michael, just stay on this shot for just a few minutes. I need a break. I was so close to vomiting. Make sure you don't eat before you watch this movie. 
There are also moments in Ambulance where the script would just get really silly. Like, we'll have a serious moment going on, and then all of a sudden a character will throw in a joke or a cheesy line or an overly serious comment that would totally kill the mood. There's this one line by the NCIS guy that just threw me off, because he was like, You know that feeling when you're playing hide and seek and someone's about to find you? I like making people feel that way. Did you just say that out loud? It was weird. Have you ever read a book that had a really cool line in it, but when you said it out loud, it sounded stupid? That's what this line felt like to me. There were plenty of moments like that in this movie that just made me pause and go, well, wait a minute. Michael Bay strikes again. What is the verdict? Ambulance is very much a Michael Bay film. You know, not the strongest script, not the best cinematography, but gosh darn it, I had fun watching this. Like, I, I won't lie to you, it's a good time. Now, the fact that it made me feel sick, though, and I talked to a few people who had a similar experience, that does knock it down a bit. But if you have a strong stomach, give Ambulance a shot. Ambulance is not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Like sugar-free soda. So Ambulance, did you see it? What'd you think about it? What's your favorite type of music? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this review and you want to see more, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. Now hit the theme music. <laughs>